So guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we have another beautiful on running shoe. As always, I just think on knows what they're doing with styling. This is the on cloud surfer next. Let's get into it. All right, let's get started with those disclosures. This video is in collaboration with my friends over at Roadrunner Sports. Now, Roadrunner Sports was good enough to send me this pair of the On Cloud Surfer Next for the purpose of review. However, they haven't told me what to say. They don't have any editorial privileges and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. With that said, you're gonna be able to pick up a pair of the On Cloud Surfer Next from Roadrunner Sports for $150. And of course, I'll place links in the show notes below in case you wanna pick up a pair for yourself. So let's get right into it. Now, right up front, I think the On Cloud Surfer Next is going to be for a specific type of runner or at least a runner with a specific type of preference and those preferences the preferences of the runners that i think this is going to work for is generally not the way that running shoe trends are tending to go but we'll get more into that in just a second now on doesn't list the stack height of the cloud surfer next on their website they do say that it is a six millimeter drop but we can tell just by looking at it that it isn't a max stack height shoe it's kind of a, a mid cushion shoe but i did find on another website that the stack height is 30 millimeters in the heel and 24 in the forefoot again for that six millimeter drop so i think that six millimeter drop is like it's right in that sweet spot but the 30 24 is a little on the low side and i don't mean that as anything negative other than it's only a little lower than where the running shoe trends have been for the last couple of years i mean even on themselves with the cloud monster 2 the cloud eclipse they have much bigger stack heights now on claims that in a us men's size 9 the cloud surfer next would tip the scale at 9.63 ounces or 273 grams however in my size a us men's size 13 it weighs in at 11.3 ounces or 320 grams which you know that's that's right in line that's kind of average for a daily trainer which is ultimately what this is and i would say that the shoe feels and rides exactly like the weight sounds right it isn't heavy it isn't light it's just right there in the middle which is totally fine now well, let's start at the top and work our way down if i hold this up you can see we've got a good amount of padding around this heel collar now the padding is definitely biased to the top half of this heel collar so when you put your heel in you do get a lovely locked in feeling the heel counter is semi-rigid i mean it's actually quite rigid but if i push it I guess i'm getting a little bit of give so yeah i think semi-rigid is the best way to describe that but either way as i said when my heel goes in i get a good lockdown i didn't experience any heel slip when i was out on the run now for the upper on is using a lovely engineered woven mesh and it's super breathable and if i hold it up well you can see these kind of more non-porous strips across the toe box and then again coming around the sides but then on top of that and between the strips we have that nice breathable woven mesh and i found the cloud surfer next to be super breathable out on the run now these areas on the upper that are just less porous than the other parts of the mesh they're adding a little structure a little stability to the upper so when you do tie down the laces you are getting a good midfoot lockdown we can see the branding here on the lateral side and if we turn it around we do have a, a white band on the medial side and again that's just making sure the upper actually conforms to your foot when you tie it down now as far as overlays go there really aren't too many and that's probably because on is utilizing different weaves of this mesh in order to give structure obviously we've got the branding on the lateral the medial toe we've got on running spelled out across the medial heel we've got some reinforcement kind of stitching coming along the eyelet chain but the eyelets on the cloud surfer next are kind of like a shock cord style and if i hold them up you can just see them the laces weaving in and out of them and actually i really like the way this looks and when i tied my laces i did get a good lockdown however and i've complained about this with other on shoes however i do realize that it's not really a valid complaint but when you are pulling the laces when you're tying these down on your foot and you're pulling these laces through the shock cord on a normal eyelet chain the laces would kind of bind against the shock cord create a little friction to help the laces stay put however when you use this shock cord style eyelet chain the laces are free to just kind of slide through them so when you take pressure off the laces it's very easy for the whole shoe to just come a little looser than you intend now that's easily managed and overcome by just paying a little more attention when you're tying your laces but if this is the first time that you're using this kind of lacing system or eyelet system you'll notice that it's an effort that you don't normally have to do again it's not a bad thing it's just different and with a little extra attention tying your laces the problem is immediately discarded as far as the laces goes they are they seem very slick but there isn't a lot of stretch to them and when they tied down they stayed tied i didn't have any trouble with the laces on the cloud surf and next coming untied really no complaints the tongue is fairly padded now this is a daily trainer so it's kind of what we would expect but there is a lot of padding here so you're not going to get any lace bite across the top of your foot the tongue is gusseted on both sides and we do have a lace loop here on the front so when you put this shoe on you're going to feel comfortable and you're going to feel secure let's come down to the midsole now on is using the helion super foam but even 
know the Helion Super Foam is used in a lot of different shoes, this time it's a little firmer of a formulation. So one also uses the Helion Super Foam in the Monster 2, the Cloud Eclipse. What else? I see I have a lot of on shoes over there, but the Cloud Monster 2 and the Cloud Eclipse are my two favorite on shoes. And that's when I think about on shoes, those are the ones I think about. So Helion Super Foam, but just a little firmer formulation. Now, if I hold it up, you can see these slanted holes right through the midsole. This is Ons Cloud Tech Phase. And basically these holes are set up like dominoes. So when you land on your heel, you're gonna compress this one at the back. And as you roll through your gait, they are going to collapse and fall into each other and just create a smooth motion of rolling forward. Look, I honestly can't tell you if that is how it works, but I do know that it does feel smooth. And as we have the Cloud Tech Phase and that kind of explanation to go along with it, it seems like it would work well and it does make sense. I can say that I've enjoyed every shoe that I've used with Cloud Tech Phase. Oh, before we talk about the ride, I just wanna tell you that this shoe does fit true to size, fits me like every other on shoe or, or most other on shoes. I think the Cloud Monster 2 was the only one that ran a little big for me, but this fits like 95% of all other on shoes that I've used. And again, it fits the same as most sizes in other shoe brands. I did find that the volume on the Cloud Surfer Next was quite generous. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a wide shoe, but I definitely had a good amount of room in my toe box, which when I think about a voluminous upper, that's kind of all I want. That's the only place on my foot where I want it to be, you know, a little spacious. And I didn't have any hot spots on my little toe, which is where I usually feel it when the shoe's a bit narrow. So yeah, it's a it's a good fitting shoe. Let's come down to the outsole. Oh, before I talk about the outsole, I just want to mention that there is no speedboard in the Cloud Surfer Next. This is just upper and foam. There's no plastic plate in there, which makes the Cloud Surfer Next fairly flexible. And that's going to come back when we talk about the ride. So coming down to the outsole, we can see we have a good amount of outsole rubber. It's kind of segmented with this midfoot groove, which is going to add to a little stability on the ride. And we do have a good amount of rubber here on the outsole. And now I'm looking at it, I've got to say I'm noticing absolutely nowhere on my lateral heel. I mean, that's that's really surprising. Coming up on the forefoot, yeah, because this midfoot groove comes all the way up to like the center of the forefoot, I would expect there to be some wear right here in the middle. And there really isn't. These shoes are standing up just remarkably well. But now that I'm looking and I'm actually explaining it to you, I think the reason for that is, is because this is probably a pretty firm rubber compound they've got on the bottom. At least it feels firm when I'm running in it. So if it's firm, obviously it's not gonna show as much wear as a really soft rubber compound. But either way, just based on the miles that I have in the Cloud Surfer Next, I'd say that these are gonna last you above average. So now let's talk about Ryan. And look, I already said that this Helion Super Foam is a little firmer than most other shoes out there on the market. And that makes the Cloud Surfer Next best suited to those that favor a firmer ride. Now look, if you are someone that doesn't favor a firmer ride, like you like that plush, soft feel, I don't want you to be scared away from the Cloud Surfer Next because actually I would describe myself as one of those people. I do like a nice soft plush ride. And yet every time I run in a shoe that is a little firmer than I would generally pick, I am pleasantly surprised because that initial firmness tends to go away. And I don't mean to say it goes away. I mean, the midsole foam is the same density when I start the run as when I finish the run. But I guess what I'm saying is I get used to it. And the benefits of having a slightly firmer midsole foam is that you have increased ground feel. And if you only run in super max stack height plus shoes, ground feel is something that you've been missing. And when you run in a shoe like the Cloud Surfer Next, and it's a little firm, you can feel the ground, you're more connected with the ground, which means you're more connected with your run. Now, if you're just out for a super easy recovery run, I wouldn't say that the Cloud Surfer Next are going to be the best option for you. When I'm going out and I'm just going out to run just super easy or recovery run, I want something a little soft. But if I'm going out for my normal daily run, which is usually between seven and eight miles, and I'm keeping my pace like right there in the middle, not super easy, but not too fast, I found the Cloud Surfer Next to be a very pleasant ride. Also, that pleasant ride is made especially pleasant because these shoes transition beautifully. They are very smooth when we go from heel to toe. That probably comes down to this cloud tech phase. And all in all, the shoe feels really good to run it. Now, again, when you have a firm midsole foam, it kind of makes you want to pick up the pace. Like you feel the road and you just tend to speed up a little more than if you are running in very plush soft shoes. Now, in my testing period, I didn't do any workouts in the Cloud Surfer Next, but I did do strides several times. And in doing those strides, the shoes felt just beautiful on my foot. I mean, the shoe transitions from running slow to running fast very easy. Now, I did say that this shoe feels really good on my normal runs of about seven to eight miles. Generally that takes me anywhere from, I don't know, an hour and an hour and five minutes. I think that the Cloud Surfer Next is a little too firm for me to take out on anything much longer than that. I wouldn't be choosing these for an actual long run. And that's because, well, 
I just know myself and I prefer something just a little more protective, a little more cushioned on those longer efforts. But if you're looking for a mid cushion shoe that's a little on the firm side so you can feel the road, get in touch with your running, Cloud Surfer Next is definitely one to consider. So now I want to hear from you. Have you ever run in an on running shoe? If you have, what have you run in? And if you run in a lot, what's been your favorite one? Drop a comment and let me know. And with that, it's Matt B. This has been my review of the on Cloud Surfer Next. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.